IAM representatives met with affiliates of the Building and Woodworkers International Union at the William W. Wimpensinger Center in Hollywood, Maryland, to discuss how to improve working conditions for IKEA workers around the globe. Ten zámer je tam taký, že chceli by sme zistiť vlastne, aké sú u vás tie praktiky, čo sa týka kolektívneho vyjednávania, čo sa týka tých pracovnoprávnych vzťahov a vlastne porovnať to, ako je to vlastne u nás. Hopefully, if this comes out good, and I have all the belief that it will, we will finally be able to put together a global IKEA network that covers all of IKEA's operations from the distribution centers to the industrial part. IKEA is internationally known as the largest furniture retailer and can be found in 49 countries all over the world. Everyone here agrees that developing a global strategy is much needed. How do you get better terms? You go together, you, you, you get together, you negotiate together, you set the term together and you stand up together. And then there is no other, other organization or, that could achieve that than the trade unions. And no matter where you are, Russia, Sweden, Slovakia or the US, the bottom line is the same. We find that workers have the same issues in, in every country and share the same concerns about job security and, and, and working conditions and having a voice on the job. It's the same wherever you go. So we have a lot in common with those other countries and workers. Our members want to have a salary that they can live a good life of. They want to feel protected at work. They want to have a working hour which allows them to live a decent life both at work and, and a private life. The difference is which tools we have in our toolbox to achieve that. And once again, that's why this kind of network that we are trying to put together is so important to fill up one and each other's toolbox. They also found similarities when it came to organizing after hearing about the struggles U.S. workers face in Danville, Virginia. So it's really important for us to get accumulate all this experience we have and uh, coordinate our activities. And uh, I think uh, for IKEA, it will be um, um, for IKEA as a company. Um, they will understand that we are stronger uh, because we have this uh, coordinated network. That now it's not U.S. by uh, themselves, Russia by themselves. It's now that uh, we have the common agenda. Worldwide, it has become a priority to educate our youth about the important role unions play in the workplace. This will ensure that our trades have the skilled workforce to fill these good union jobs. In Europe, we have a lack of skilled woodworkers. And of course, that's a, mainly a problem for the employers, but it is also a very big problem for us, because if we want our branches to grow, if we want our job to be secure, to make sure that the factory stays, they need to have access to skilled workers. And how do you get young boys and girls to choose the programs that deals with woodworking instead of becoming an engineer or becoming a hairdresser or whatever. We need them to choose our programs so that we get skilled people out from the schools. Whether it's organizing, improving current working conditions, or generating programs to educate our youth to ensure our industries grow, the common goal is the same. This group left with more tools in their toolboxes, eager to build stronger alliances and better lives for workers. Uh, we're already planning another meeting here and uh, we look forward to bringing in other countries, seeing how we can uh, support them and get their support for, for what we're doing here. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Valana Cochran.